Hey, good Wednesday morning to you. And today in our Wow Wednesday, we are taking a little field trip to visit the Madison County Sheriff's Office um, canine unit. Uh, they're going to show us some training exercises that they do. Uh, these dogs are amazing. Their handlers are amazing. And we should be very thankful that uh, we have this unit, this team, um, in Madison County to keep us safe. All right, uh, so I'm going to turn it over to Sergeant Brannett with the Madison County Sheriff's Office. And... Um, Wow Wednesday. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Sergeant Brandon. I'm with the Madison County Sheriff's Office Canine Unit. And I've got some guys that I work with here today that are part of the unit. Uh, we've got Corporal Land who handles Archer. We got Sergeant Law who handles Miso. And we got Corporal Tavares who has Max. And I have Riot. They're a mix of Malamois and Shepherds. And it's we use them for different purposes, but they all got the same job different personalities just like people and what we're going to do is we're going to show you some things today of how we train them and uh, what, they're, what they're trained to do in certain aspects. We spend anywhere from about four or five hundred hours before we ever put the dog on the street to get certified. So the handler and dog will go through it and get to where they're very proficient in every aspect of the job that they have to do and then we'll kick them loose on the street to where they can go out and work and work with the rest of the department provide a good backup and a good resource to our other deputies in our community. And uh, sorry y'all aren't here to where you can ask questions. This is a little bit a little bit different for us because uh, normally we get a lot of questions, but sometimes that's good. Uh, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and do what we're going to do. So what we'll do first is we'll get Corporal Land and he'll grab Archer. We're going to go right out here in the field. So you move the camera around and you'll be able to see him do a typical obedience routine with this dog. And this just shows the control that we have to have. Hopefully, uh, to be able to pass certification to be able to work the dog on the street. Okay. Hi, this is Canine Archer and Corporal Land. And what they're doing is just some typical obedience that we would have to do for certification. All of this has to be done off lead. And as you can see, Archer's very in tune with what Corporal Land wants him to do. Whether it be healing, down in motion like what he just did. He'll give him some hand signals and some verbal cues of telling, telling him what he wants him to do. And he'll do it at distance. One thing these dogs love is they love to work. They always want something to do. So they're very high strung, they're very social, but when it comes to work, they're a tool just like anything else we have. They're not a household pet. Yes, they go home with us. They stay with us all the time, probably more than our families do, but they are still a tool that we have within the department to be able to protect the citizens and the county employees uh, for the Sheriff's Department. You'll see he's fixing to drop that tug to him and let him have it. That is his toy. That's all. That's what he's working for right there. He wants to get that to be able to play tug and just have a good time. Once it gets to where it's not a game for these dogs, then it's time to retire them out. To him, this is just a big game. This is not work to him. He doesn't know what work is. Yeah, you know, this is this is Sergeant Law, and like I told you, our dogs are very social. Any of our dogs will work for any of the other handlers here and pretty much most any other deputy because they're around them all the time. The deputies know what their commands are. Hey! 
butt slam shut. All right, what just happened was Corporal Tiberius just let our decoy know that this is going to be a bite exercise, meaning he's going to send Max off lead to go down, apprehend the decoy, and then he'll out him from distance. That's how I go. Boy, boy. This is, uh, is it running? Yeah. All right, this is what's going to happen. This is going to be a recall. Next year, good boy. That's a good boy. That's what we call a recall, and the reason being, we can send the dog on a bad guy. If for some reason the bad guy gives up, we, we have to bring the dog back. We can verbally tell him to come back to us, and he's not going to go engage anybody. Okay. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, we had a good time with this. The uh, the one dog you didn't get to see was Sergeant Law. You some of the, saw some of the great decoy work he did for Max. He handles Miso, and Miso had a doctor's appointment today. And just like most kids, when they go to the doctor, they don't feel good afterwards. So we're letting him take a break today. But those are our four dogs that we have on the department right now, and uh, we're constantly trying to get more. Our administration is very supportive of our program, and uh, so they work with us, and we utilize the dogs on a regular basis. So that's always a good thing. Enjoyed it. Y'all have a good time.